Hello guys, I'm Sammy from AcroBad.net and today I will show you how you can use your favorite control instruments, which means mouse and keyboard, joystick, a potato with wires in it, whatever you like, to play Android games such as this one that is obviously made to be played with two hands on your touchscreen, but you only have one mouse, which is bad. So, how do you solve this problem? First of all, you will need a very specific emulator for PC, which means a software that can actually emulate the Android system so you can play Android games on your computer. It's called Nux, and the link is as always in the description of this video. Download it, install it. It's a pretty big download, but it's the best out there, especially for Android games. It's compatible with almost all of them, which is great. So. Once you got it installed, you log into your Google account, you install the game through the Play Store or download an APK, whatever, get the game running, sign into your account, and here's what you do to use your specific controller, okay? The first thing that you will have to do either way is you will have to go to this incredible function that this emulator has. It's called Simulate Touch. For me, it's at the right taskbar, but with further versions of um, the emulator, it might actually change, but this is a function that this emulator has. Just look for it, simulate touch, okay? What this allows you to do is to bind touching a specific element on the screen to a mouse cursor, uh, to, to a, a mouse button, to a keyboard button, to whatever, okay? So here's what you do. Um, I'm just gonna go with WASD as always as you would have in other games for the movement for example and then you could also for example bind your abilities to buttons alright that's how you would do it or whatever kind of uh, kind of uh, simulated touch that you would like you can make this more granular I usually go with Q um, E uh, and then C and Y because I use a Swiss keyboard before you ask Okay, and then all you basically do is you save your configuration, yes sir, you can have it all, always visible so you can actually see what you're doing. It's, it's incredibly awesome and it allows you to basically play the game as if you had uh, the actual game on a, a mobile device. And arguably almost even better. Now, how do you map this to a controller? that is not mouse and keyboard. Now the way I would do it, I'm not sure if it, if it works directly because I don't have a, a controller actually wired into my computer at the moment. Uh, it might just work that you can simply replace these with your um, controller controls, which is likely possible. Um, the other way I would do it, uh, by the way, you can delete those as well just by clicking the delete thingy and save. The other way I would do it is using a program called um, auto hotkey, okay, and I will have link in the description to a auto hotkey um, key rebinding tutorial. What auto hotkey essentially allows you to do is to rebind any a key on your computer to any other key, all right. Or for example, if you want to bind your mouse button um, to a controller key or something like along those lines, um, that's basically what it's for. Auto hotkey can allow you to do that. So I would link you to that tutorial for that. In, in this case, I would just um, bind some kind of weird key. Let's say you wanted to bind this ability um, to a controller key. I would just use something weird like uh, a weird button on my, on my keyboard like uh, M or whatever, something I never use. And then use auto hotkey to bind M to the controller key. All right, that's what I would do personally and that would definitely work with using auto hotkey so the tutorial will be in the link below this video uh, to the auto hotkey tutorial it's pretty easy it's you basically make a small text file and you fill in uh, two three small lines of code it's very simple very simple to do that all right so basically that's how you do that and I hope this helps I hope you guys have fun with it and remember, it's it's just it's just the best way to play the game because PC is always no lag, 60 frames per second, and all that good stuff. See you guys later. Goodbye.